Well, Charlie, don't you think I ought to try to get my program passed? Yes, you do. But I don't think you... If you were in my place, if you were in my place and you had a house and meets on Tuesday and Wednesday and Thursday... You're not going to do it the week after the 4th of July. Got ahead of our convention. I don't think you are. And, uh... I'm, I was about to call you, Mr. President. Well, do it between now and the Fourth of July. Get these things passed. You ought to. You ought to hold up my poverty bill. That's that's a good bill. There's no reason why you ought to keep a majority from beating it. You can beat it. Go on, beat it. But uh, you ought to hold it up. You ought to give me a fair shake and give me a chance to vote on it. Uh, I've got it in my budget. I cut my budget a billion under last year. Let me talk to you in just a minute. You want the civil rights bill. Through. You want the tax bill. Through. And help you do it. And God damn it, did I help you in civil rights? Yeah, you sure did. You helped Kennedy. Oh, yeah, I, you, right. you yeah, agree with him. Kennedy will help you. Right. Now wait just a minute, my friend. When you help yourself, of course, you don't want civil rights much as we do. I believe it's a nonpartisan bill. I don't no, think it's a Johnson no, bill. No, you're going to get all the political advantage. We aren't no, going to get a no, damn bill. No, no. Wait just a minute. Now, we got a lot of things in that bill. But I don't know what the hell the Senate put in there. Maybe we ought to kind of take a little look at it. Well, maybe you ought to. I'm not oh, saying that you ought to. Now, wait a minute, Mr. President. I'm just looking at it hard for it. And once in a while, I can get hard for it. Well, you wouldn't want to go to your convention without a civil rights bill, would you? You know, as a matter of fact, if you scratch me very deep, Mr. President. Well, I wouldn't scratch you at all, because I, I want to pet you. Just wait just a minute. If I had my way. I'd let you folks be fussing with that goddamn thing before your convention instead of ours. But I'm perfectly willing to give you the right to sign that thing on July 4th. Now, I think you're taking advantage of an Independence Day thing that ain't right. But uh, that's not for me to say. I don't know what you're talking about. You want to sign this? Uh, I haven't heard anything about that. I haven't, July, I, I haven't said July 4th, but well, the no. papers have been full of it. I haven't said a word about it. Nobody's asked me anything about it. And I'll tell you something. If you sign it that day, I ain't going to be there because I'm going. Mm -hmm. I'm going. Mr. President, I wish you what you'd do. And uh, God knows I... Look, you got a tax bill, you got a civil rights bill, you got a hell of a lot of other things coming along. Don't press us too, God. I, uh, I'll do just about anything I can for you. Well, go on and report my power to Bill. Quit holding it up in that damn way. Wait just a minute. Let, we'll get that. They've had that all debated. They've, they've debated it. They've, they've and delayed it. If, if you try to shove that... I'm not trying to shove it. Hell, I've been trying for six months to even get a vote on it. Yeah, they they held it up over there. I never saw such a spectacle. Every man, they were bitter and mean and vicious. And uh, in, the, in the Labor Committee. And then I got it over there, and now they up to fine and rude. Now, let's just go back over a little bit. You've got a great important thing called the Civil Rights Bill. With a hell of a lot of far-reaching amendments. I'm sorry I'm holding you up this much, but uh, I'm just going to do it. A hell of a lot of amendments. You want me to buy those without uh, any chance in the house to look them over. Well, Mr. President, I guess maybe I'll do it. But, Jesus Christ, don't push me too far. Now, give me a little chance. I haven't pushed you at all, my friend. I haven't even discussed it with you. Now, wait a minute. I want to pass the Civil Rights Bill. And let me tell you what I want to do. I want to pass. I'm going to help you do it. The Civil Rights Bill as it passed the Senate. Understand? You give me a rule on my poverty bill, let me vote on that chart. Oh, wait just a minute. I'll give you a rule in due time, but don't press I'm me. I'm not pressing you. God damn it, Mr. I'm President. not pressing you anymore than you're pressing me, my friend. I'm just making a statement. Please, I'm telling you about things I'm interested in, and you want to, I think, be helpful. All right, in due time, I'll give you a... But if you okay. keep me here... I got a deal, Mom. Well, but they said, Charlie, I don't want to share it. I've tried to get it acted on the Senate, and they don't want to go into working on the bill and the hearings until we act on it now. And you could do that. You could let me have that rule tomorrow if you wanted to. Just could I look, you're an old Senate hand. Yeah. 
an old house hand, too. Wait a minute. And you're a an old Halleck man. All right. And you're a Halleck <laughs> man, and I'm a Johnson. Right. Well, give me a little rule up there in the morning. I'm glad you called me in. Because, <laughs> my friend, I just wish I was right there with you. Well, we'll get together this week. We'll get together this week. Mr. Press. Yeah. Jesus. I'll call you this week. Guys, and wait a minute. Us guys in the house have carried the heart for you. Well, you call them up and tell them to give me a rule on that poverty bill so I can no, get no, it. I'll cut it over in the Senate, no, no, you see. No, wait just a minute. I ain't going to give you any rule in the goddamn poverty bill until I know what the hell we're doing. Well, well what can I tell you? Uh, how can I tell you what we're doing? I'll tell you anything I know. I'll call you any day this week that you're free, and we'll sit down and talk together. Okay. Okay. <laughs>